हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल माय नेम इज बलराम प्रसाद आई एम वर्किंग एज ए सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लॉजिक एप्स एंड वी विल हैव अ डेमो वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए रीट विथ बॉट लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स यू हैव सीन दैट वन इफ यू ट्वीट विथ सम हैश टैग देन इट इज समबडी सम बॉट इज गोइंग टू रीट विथ ऑन दैट वन राइट सो हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू हैपन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस डेमो यूजिंग लॉजिक एप्स एंड दैट इज आवर एजेंडा दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव लॉजिक एप इंट्रो एंड देन वी विल लर्न अबाउट सम की टर्न ऑफ लॉजिक एप एंड देन द डेमो सो वॉट इज द लॉजिक एप लॉजिक एप इज ए प्लेटफॉर्म एज ए सर्विस ऑफरिंग प्रोवाइडेड बाई अजूर क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग एंड इट इज यूज फॉर इंटीग्रेटिंग वेरियस सिस्टम एंड रनिंग ऑन ऑटोमेटिंग द वर्क फ्लोज सो इफ यू हैव सम सिस्टम वेयर यू यू आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट सपोर्ट टिकट बेस्ड ऑन समबडी हैज पोस्टेड इन टू ट्विटर और फेसबुक और मे बी सम ऑर्डर हैज बिन क्रिएटेड इन टू योर सिस्टम ऑन योर ऑनलाइन पोर्टल एंड यू डी वॉन्ट टू रीडायरेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट सीनारियो टू डिफरेंट सिस्टम दैट काइंड ऑफ वर्क फ्लो वी कैन डेवलप एंड वी कैन डेवलप हेयर वेरी ईजिली इट कैन स्केल वेरी फास्ट वी डो नॉट हैव टू थिंक अबाउट दैट वन बिकॉज वी ऑल नो दैट विथ यूजिंग क्लाउड सर्विसेज वी गेट द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस ऑल दिस थिंग्स राइट so what could be the use cases for this using the logic app maybe if some use cases i have noted down here like some you want to schedule and send email notification using office 365 or send grid or any other email provider when some event is happening maybe some file is being uploaded uh, right that that can be one process or you somebody has uploaded some file you want to move that file from one location to another location that is another thing if somebody some your consumer has tweeted something into twitter and uh, you want to see that how the sentiment look like and then based on that when you want to create the ticket in your system ticketing system for support and anything that also you can do or you can query some database and uh, you can send email notification based on some result criteria that you can also do so a lot of different um, scenarios you can cover using this one and what is the logic app logic app is azure resources which we are going to create and see and under the logic app the top thing that we are going to create workflow and what is workflow workflow is a series of step or task which we are going to do on this one right and workflow always starts with a trigger right that which is going to start hold the workflow what is the trigger on that one and then after that one we can run one or more action on that one so as we talked about every workflow start with trigger and trigger is that uh, when something is happened either some time has a specified time has occurred or a specified minute has passed like each five minute run this one or on this particular time you run this one so there are two type like polling and push trigger polling is that uh, this if we have we're going to write that one it is going to always check based on some time interval that what is happening and push trigger are generally based on event based right a lot of system supports eventing mechanism when something happened uh, that generate event and based on that event our logic app can be triggered maybe something like in a story a storage azure storage if some file or blob is uploaded then it event is generated by azure system itself and then you can trap that one and then you can run right so that is how we are going to see that one what is action that action is that after a trigger is happened what kind of action we are going to perform on that one suppose there might be some actions like if you see that image that we if somebody has uploaded a file pdf you want to come uh, convert that one or compress that one right or we want to convert um, some html to pdf that that kind of action we want to perform so built in operations are generally not tied up with any services in any system it is pretty generic thing right but some actions like uh, like pdf right this pdf and other things is provided by adobe so that is just tied up with some specific service similar to that one uh, azure function and azure, azure app services we have some operations which we can do that one right that is specifically available for such services 
Now we are going to talk about connectors, right? What are the connectors? Connectors are important topic, right? Connectors is a proxy of or a wrapper, right? For a uh, system which we are going to connect uh, and say what system we are going to connect? Either we are going to connect with Twitter, right? So Twitter, how that connector is going to work behind the scene they they are, uh, that connector team which has written that connector know the api of twitter and then they have uh, written wrapper around that one so that we can just drag and drop and connect and then provide some of the input and that will be called similar to that if you see lot of connectors are provided by uh, azure Log logic app and that is a great part of this logic app you will see that screen there are some i have uh, taken the snapshot and seen that one there are a lot of different systems you can connect on that one and there are two type connector similar to xn right built-in connectors are not designed for any specific system they they are generic kind of nature and uh, there are some uh, like that built-in connector can be that http request or batch right these are connectors when http request is coming based on m get post whatever is there request trigger you can do that one or maybe parsing some xml or parsing json we can do that kind of built-in connectors are also there and then there are managed connector where for that system that so whatever system we are going to connect either it is external system or either it is on-prem systems then some example would be that sap connectors right you can connect sap or you can connect ibm system using logic logic app so that kind of connector are very specific to that system because the logic um, that um, has to be known for that one right that system how to connect how to manipulate how to do eventing and how to do action on that one so that is there if you are not able to find any connectors then you can write your own connector also that that is flexibility is provided over there now we are going to um, see the demo as soon as possible so let's see so as usual i am here with a portal and let's find out logic app I'm going to select the subscription soft which bot or whatever name uh, I'm going into s 2 I am going with workflow only and we can go with consumption plus plan for best for entry level and uh, whenever how much workflow is going to run that is only when we are going to cost tagging is there for uh, billing purpose and also management purpose for environment and other thing. you can tag it and then find it into different section based on tags so let's review it and let's click it right great so it will be quickly going to create this one once we are going with this resource and designer will come as we can see that there we have to start with common trigger and these are the few triggers where a new mail received from in Outlook mail or file is came to OneDrive or FTP server event grids. Uh, we are going with this one when new tweet is posted and we have to sign in and for signing purpose we have to make a connection for this connector. So I am going to do this one. Okay, and I'm going to use there two types and one is default shared subscription where we have to give user and password and then I have created my own application for demo purpose and we can go into portal section developer portal and then we can see that one and you can see the details of that how to create application into different video which we have posted on to this channel where we are doing twitter sentiment analysis so we can go and see this one we have to do user authentication settings and other things where we have to set that which authentication method we are going to use and uh, how much permission we are going to give what is the callback url and other things that details we have to give and then once we give this one details that we have to go into the section where api and key and other things are there i am going to regenerate this one take this one i am going to paste here i am going to uh, do this one and once we do the sign in it will ask my user and password so i am for twitter i am going to give this one that where app is created and this is that 
now i'm going to add this one how much time it is going to uh, get the post right so i'm going to test with uh, soft with demo right and then uh, it, uh, it is going to check uh, three minutes i have seen in some documentation that if we give into one minute that quota will exist and other things we can give the parameter that what is the time zone and start time so that if it is running second time it will not pull the same thing right so that we can do uh, for advanced purpose if you are going to use another type of connector short text and other things you are going to um, make that put that state into somewhere that okay i have processed that one till last id right you can do that one also once we get this one right what we are going to do this one so for this demo we are going to just retweet this one if you see this one we can get all followers who is following get the user get the user timeline and other things a lot of things search tweet which i was saying that when we we can do search tweet and other things so i'm going to just retweet this one and what is the id for retweet so whatever a previous one the output is that input for this one is the tweet id we can do this one tweet id and then we have to save this one that is all we have to do and it should run let me trigger this one and then we can see that one it is going to run uh, view the run it may take some time so once we do this one uh, we have to see this one that uh, what is the run history and what is the trigger history and we we have skip this one three minutes so i'm going to tweet and then we can see in three minutes that uh, it is going to be uh, retweeting this one or not um, what was that just I forgot the software's demo was there so let me tweet with software's demo okay I just did this one software's demo so if I go I see this one software's demo is there right let's see that by uh, how much time in three minutes it should be retweeting because we have given that option right so let's wait for that time i will fast forward that time and we can see this one okay so i see something is successful let's see this one okay so yeah software's demo is high and then we see that okay i have been tweeting this one and then it retweeted that one right and if we refresh this one let's see okay i see this is retweet one so yeah this is it uh, for basic demo and this is it now if you want to go into advanced mode then you have to do all this right we have to see that one that what is the start time zone and if you retweeted that one then you might need to save this state of tweet id that next time it is not going to pull that same thing but if you see this one that happens if you are going to run this once again and if it is running this one if you see this one it says it sends that since id it is keeping that that which id it was there so next time it will pull that one uh, from that id so this this is the demo i wanted to show you guys so thank you very much i guess uh, it will be learning for you all thank you